Hola. Hi. Hi guys. Hope you all are doing great. I am Minami Extra and welcome to my channel. So if it's your first time stopping by, I am a YouTuber based in Manchester, UK. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time, grab some wine, popcorn. Yeah, we just have good vibes. We try to learn together, explore. I do travel vlogs. Um just different vlogs and just try to add value here and there while having fun so today's video today's vlog is going to be a day in my life i have quite a number of things to do apply for my uk's driver's license which i already did i took you guys along obviously apply for my uk driver's license i have to do two clients here i think i'll cook something i um i also have to shop go to the african shop just get a few things because i've really not been cooking for myself um and yes why because of the weather like seriously at this point this is just me ranting i cannot wait for summer to be over because i've been cooking and normally i like to meal prep and everything so i've been cooking and meal prepping and then the food gets bad you you cook the next minute by evening it's too hot the food is bad or you keep it in the fridge like i was just sick of it so i've not been cooking for a while so i'll go to the african shop just get a few things yeah next thing just in case anyone is watching and though maybe one day you're going to find yourself in the uk or you want to apply for driver's license or stuff like that so let me take you guys along so if you want to apply for a um i'm applying for a provisional um a provisional license because it's the first time i'm applying so you go to the post office and pick up something like this i guess you can apply online as well then it's going to come with instructions something like this how to fill the form then you have a form like this i can't really show you guys so much because it has like my details and stuff on it and <laughs> you don't see today has kind of wanted to just go off okay so this form you are supposed to fill it with a black pen and in capital letters so i filled the form and it was um so when you fill the form like fill all your details he has all the instructions actually all the questions or are your eyes fit for driving blah 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 then you also need somebody um somebody that has a driver's license to read a uk driver's license to fill in their information and sign your form and you don't want to begin to imagine how many forms i've filled today i filled out three forms and yes why so the first one um a person who was supposed to fill my driver's license filled it like fill <laughs> he had to fill his part like the person that had the uk driver's license filled it with a blue pen while well, i filled mine with a black pen but the right thing to do if you are applying for a driver's license or any um come on this uh, any kind of document or something fill it with a black pen then the next one they said i had to um, sign within the box so my signature just went slightly above it and then the guy at the counter was like oh um it could be sent back blah, blah 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 so yeah so that's it so if you are applying for your driver's license you don't want to be like me just follow it strictly and i also paid um for like the postage fee so it has like different amounts okay yeah because i'm sure some people want to know how much it costs so to apply it if you're applying so it has like different instructions if first driver's license with non-uk used um issued identity documents or first license with uk issued identity documents or blah, blah 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 so i paid 43 pounds for that then i paid um six pounds something almost seven pounds for special delivery because i sent it with my brp my residence card and i don't want that to get missing so i, I um sent it like special delivery like so i'm going to track it make sure that i know how it's moving how it's going about because that document is very serious to me <laughs> yeah i'm happy that I, I was finally able to do this i've been wanting to do this for the longest time oh i'm talking too much so let's just let's just just come with me hopefully we do the clients hair and they love it if you're in the uk and you love to do your hair 
or your makeup or you're looking for someone to cook for an event or just meal prep for you i got you okay i got you minami always delivers just trust me trust me or somebody to help you surprise your loved ones just see anything just just get to me and also guys i did my hair alone i'm so proud of myself it's still not look it's not looking new anymore because i've had it for a while but yeah i did it alone and i'm so proud i love it i love it i really 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 come along with me subscribe leave a comment down below love you guys and see you on my next video bonjour good morning hope you all are doing great so i just left home now and i'm on my way to the Salford city center to take some passport size photographs for the driver's license application and just cashing up with you guys hope everybody's doing all right i'm going to film a chit chat get ready with me just to some live update where i've been what we're doing the way forward and all that so first off like i said i stopped by to get my passport size photograph and they came out really nice i must applaud they came out really nice i advise that you go to these shops where you can actually take the pictures a professional can take the pictures instead of going to the boots the self photo boot and all that so i just filled the form and sent it to the post office like i explained in the intro and everything then off we go to the african shop just to do some grocery shopping okay yeah We are back home so let's see what we got from the african shop i got my all-time favorite quaker oat i got some milk as well i don't drink cow milk like the normal one that you just sell in the stores and all i don't like it so usually i'll get like the almond milk and then i'll just mix and all that yeah so i got some plantains that was a total of how much we bought and things are getting even more expensive by the day the pressure is getting worse <laughs> yeah so i got some pear even though i, was, I ended up eating just one and the other one i left in the fridge for so long so it got bad some plantain chips and all that some okra it also got bad in the fridge i don't know what's happening to me sometimes so yeah i just got all these things and i'm just going to keep them in the cupboard i tried cooking something but um time cut me short i had to go and do a client's hair so yeah i also got some gizzard and some oxtail yeah because i plan on making dole one of these days hopefully i'm able to cook in the vlog and share the recipe with you all so these were all the things that i got um i wanted to cook granola soup i actually started cooking it but i could not film everything because i was in a rush so i just blended the granola into a paste um and just did everything yeah that's just smoked turkey that i'm seasoning my god let me know down in the comment section if you've had smoked turkey i mean the taste of this thing is divine so i was on my way to my first client to get her hair done and all that so and sure. yeah as you can see she loves loves my love hair, love my hair. Period. <laughs> it's the next day and i'm prepping for my second client i'm just um packing up the makeup bag i have to do her hair um her makeup then just style her natural hair so i'm just getting everything ready i'm traveling out of town i've never been to this place before so this is the outfit for the day i just have like some jeans cropped up and i also have my jacket at um together with my ring light i took a tram from my house 
to the train station. Guys, I just got to the train station now. I'll try to get my train. I waited and waited and waited and waited for the train it delayed i was panicking hope i got there on time but it's a good thing that i left really early so i made it on time to where i was going to yeah and it was it was really nice and as you're going to see this client she was such a sweetheart just keep watching so far do all to subscribe give this video a thumbs up let me know down below what you like to see on my channel for all those that have always been subscribed that check up on me um yeah just i'm just so happy to have you all and i don't take you guys for granted did you see what i just jumped i feel like that's a hazard if they can just put like maybe um some a platform or something do you know what just comes out from the buses when you're trying to cross i feel like if they put it with the trains because someone can actually just miss their step and something goes wrong but god forbid we pray that doesn't happen so yeah i'm just leaving manchester to handport right now hi guys good morning presently your girl is in hanford it's the first time i'm in this town it's a town in the uk so i just arrived um hanford and i'm here because i have to do a client's makeup and hair for an event that should be attending later today the appointment is for 3 p.m and it's presently 2 14 so i'm right on time i'm just about to order for the uber and then head straight to her place of course i'm going to take you guys along and if it's okay for the client i'm going to show you guys the end result of what we were able to achieve so just come along with me hopefully it goes well subscribe 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 and everything oh god i just tried to book for an uber but the app is showing no cars available i also tried the board app nothing so i'm just going to use the google maps and try to find myself there hopefully it goes to plan and i'm on time let's just keep our fingers crossed and oh my god i don't know i don't know just come along with me hi guys so i'm catching up with you guys after the makeup session everything you see me smiling huh guys ask me how my day went you have to ask me how my day went Ooh, i had the sweetest client so i got her ready that the 1903 northern service to Alderley edge has been cancelled to a shortage of train crew not okay okay i'll take it over again so guys like i was saying everything went well she loved her makeup i think i'm going to try to show you guys inside a clip i asked her if it was she was okay for me to take a picture and she said yes and that's not the sweetest part my client she gave me a tip i didn't <laughs> 
it was not any kind of tip <laughs> oh my god i don't know what i'm saying yeah she tipped me and she also came to drop me at the train station i was just like oh my god god these are the kind of clients i want i feel like crying i'm being so dramatic but yeah i had a lovely day so i'm just at the tra um the train station now waiting to take a train back to manchester and it has been a very beautiful day like i'm so happy i'm so grateful i'm thankful to god i pray he sends me many more clients and yes let's let's go back let's go back we made it back to manchester and it was a success so guys like this video subscribe and see you guys on my next video ciao